How's it going guys? My name is Fred and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. So, today I thought we would take a look at some more of the sort of physics objects in the game, try and push the physics of the game to the limit. Basically, some beam NG experiments. I'm assuming there's gonna be there's gonna be cannons, there's gonna be stuff getting crushed all the time. Hopefully we'll achieve some cool stuff. Hopefully we'll achieve some things you didn't even think were possible. Along with me for the ride today is my wonderful assistant in science, the dummy, Dave. He's just uh, <laughs> he's just chilling back there in the back of my pickup truck. Annoyingly, when I put him in the pickup truck, he's now broken the tailgate so I can't close it. Thanks, Dave. But yeah, today we're gonna do some experiments. I don't know how Dave is gonna fit into these experiments. We'll, we'll try and do some stuff with him if we can, but hopefully it's gonna be cool. So on to experiment number one. So guys, our first experiment today, as you may have guessed, involves a cannon and also several Several box trucks. Basically, guys, if you remember, uh, last episode, no, two episodes ago, I fired, I fired a cannon out the back of a box truck, like at the side of it, and it just went straight through the back of the truck. What I was wondering was, how many trucks can a cannonball go through? I've got five trucks here. A, because I don't think it's going to go through more than five trucks, and B, because it's, it's the game is already running quite slowly. There's a lot of uh, a lot of box physics going on in this in this world here. So let's uh let's line this thing up nicely. Just put that right. About that. Yeah, I guess that's good. And then, uh, uh, what the? No, no, no! What the hell? RB, RB is meant to be the parking brake, but it's also fire the cannon. Whose idea was this? Well, anyway, it went through one. It definitely went through the first one. I get the feeling my cannonball somewhere in that second truck. Let's just uh, let's respawn this thing. Let's go around to the other side. Try this again. This time we can line the cannon up properly. And we have to remember, RB, RB fires the cannon. Yeah, let's just line this up real good. Right about there. And then just up. So it's going right through the middle. Uh, yeah. I think, I think that looks pretty good. Fire the cannon. Yeah. Oh, how many trucks was that? Nope. Still inside the second truck. Well, it turns out the answer to experiment number one, you can fire through two. Well, we fire through one and into two trucks. No more than two. Oh, that's kind of a shame. I was expecting it to go like the whole way through all of them. Like, it's just made of like... A uh, box wood. It's just made of wood. A little piece of wood never stops a cannonball. I guess that actually means the uh, the truck in the middle there, the third one, because it can only ever go through two. The truck in the middle should be fine. It's a bit dented, and it's got another truck stuck to it. But apart from that, absolutely fine. Get off. If you ever need to stop a cannonball from uh, from hurtling towards you, just get two trucks. Just stick them in front of you, you'll be absolutely fine. The second one, the first one will get completely wrecked. The second one though, that's where your cannonball is going to be. Experiment number two. Sticking with the box truck theme. I like, I just love the way that you can like smush through the side of the box and like it just deforms and stuff can go through it. So, I was wondering, is it possible to drive a car through the side of a truck? Well, specifically jump a car through the side of the truck. It's all squishy. I don't see why not. Basically, our car for this experiment is actually in the truck currently. We're going with the Chevetta. If I get this out, as you will see, look, it's nice. It's a nice sort of wedge shaped. If anything's going to like pierce through the side of a truck, it's going to be this. Also, it's fast as balls. Let's just get this thing sort of out of the way. Line the truck up. Get a run up. Jump this thing through. To be honest, guys, I'm not entirely sure how fast you'd have to go to jump through the side of a truck. Let's just get, let's get a decent sized run up. Probably, probably about there. That should be fine. Oh god, oh god, oh, this thing's powerful. Okay, line it up, line it up. There we go. Okay, let's get some speed. Oh, come on. 90? Are we going 100? Oh! Oh! It turns out, 100 miles an hour, not fast enough. Oh god. This is how car babies are made. It turns out, 100 miles an hour, not fast enough. But that's not gonna stop us. We're gonna get an even bigger run up. I don't know what the max speed of this thing is, but we're gonna find it. We are gonna jump through the back of that truck in slow motion. Okay, fine, it looks like the top speed is about 150. Stop, stop, stop. Oh God, okay, turn it around. We just need to follow this line. Oh God, which line is it? I think it's this, <laughs> this line here. Follow this line. This is where the ramp is. Come on, 135, 140. I can't even see the truck yet, where is it? Oh my God, it hasn't even spawned. We're getting to 150. Uh, I need to hit the slow motion at some point. There's a the truck. The truck just spawned 155. Oh shit. Oh shit. Slow motion time. Slow motion time. We're doing 158. Let's just make sure this is lined up. If I miss that ramp, this is going to be very, very bad. 159. Don't you miss. Don't you miss. Oh. Oh. We're through. Oh my god. Can we land and carry on? It's going to be backwards, but I think. No way. No 
way. Yes way. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, no, didn't quite land so successful. <laughs> ah, that's uh, that is upside down, but, but we are the other side of the truck. Come on, just land nicely. Play nicely, little car. Oh, God. Oh, that's not so good, is it? You're a little bit, a little bit smashed up. Yeah, okay, I'd recommend if you, uh, if you value your cars, don't try and, don't try this at home. If you think my car got damaged, that truck got fucked up. Well, I didn't even think that would be possible. I, I, I fully wasn't even expecting that to work, but it turns out if you can go 159 miles an hour, you can jump through the back of a truck, and that is fantastic. Look at that wonderful, beautiful car-shaped hole that I've left in the back of that truck. I don't even think this would work on any other cars, because if you look, all the other cars are significantly less pointy. They have much bigger front ends. It would actually be kind of hilarious to try and jump a truck through the back of another truck. Let's do that. You know what, guys? I'm actually fully confident that this is not going to work, but we'll try it anyway. We're definitely not going to go through the other truck. We might just completely destroy the other truck and carry on going. Who knows? Let's see. We're going 87 in slow motion in 12th gear. I didn't even know this thing had that many gears. Let's just keep this nice and straight. Oh, oh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh, my God. My truck is actually wider than the ramp. No, it's not. <gasps> oh, my God. That is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And actually, I was going to say our truck completely undamaged. It was until it landed. Now, now quite damaged. Yeah. Let's just uh, let's let this thing come to rest. Oh, oh, it's gonna it's gonna flip some more. This is all good. Let's check the other one out. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, he did. So guys, I've actually thought of an experiment where we can involve Dave. Basically, I was wondering how many. Oh god, where's the camera going? How many of Dave can we fit inside? One giant cannon. Basically, the first thing we need to do is just get loads and loads of Daves, and then somehow just sort of push them into the uh, into the cannon. Come on, Daves! All of you, Daves, you come in with me. Oh no, they're hanging on. This is not cool, Dave. All of you, you get in that cannon. Oh god, oh god, they just get all stuck to the wheels. This is no good. Oh shit. Oh no, he's stuck in the wheel arch. Dave, stop it. Stop. Oh. Yep, my, yep, yeah, I've caused the apocalypse. You know what? This is a silly experiment. Let's not do that. I, I, I've thought of a good alternative. Instead of Dave's, we're going to use the next smallest thing in the game, which I can actually drive. The pigeon. The most disgusting, stupidest car there is. Let's just spawn a load of these guys in a, a variety of colours. Yep, that looks good. And now, stick them in the can. Oh no, the cannon's getting a little bit full. I, I think we can fix that. Get down there. Get in the cannon. Everybody in. There we go. Just get them in. Shake them about. Everybody Fill in from the back. Yeah, that was good. Much more space. Everybody in. Get in. Okay, that was good. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but there are in fact 12. 12 pigeons in this cannon. Our pigeon cannon is loaded. As you can see, down range, I have placed a semi to act. Or oh, what am I saying? Semi. A semi. Uh, I've placed a semi to act as a target for our pigeons to hit. So if we aim them sort of just... Actually, no, this is pretty good. Sort of like this. Then press fire. One of two things. It's going to happen when I press fire. Either, either it's going to be the most spectacular thing you've ever seen. It's going to be this, this grand pigeon uh, discharge. A multitude of colored pigeons fly across the sky. Or the game will just crash instantly. Because, you know, that's that's a lot of pigeons. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's fire this thing. In three, two, oh god, one. Oh, no, it crashed. I mean, the game is still open. But like, when there's too much physics, the game just pauses itself. The game just like, no, I, I, I refuse. I don't know. Am I allowed to? Am I allowed to unpause it? I can. Okay, let's let's get a better view of this. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. See, most of the pigeons not doing much, but we've got one lone pigeon soaring to victory. Fly, my pretties. Fly. Hit that truck. Come on. No, don't keep pausing it. You can do it. Kill him. No. Yes. Okay. We we bopped the truck on the nose. But that's all we're gonna do. Oh, it appears some of the pigeons have caught fire. This is bad. Okay, I think this experiment might have been slightly too much. Slightly too much for my computer to handle. Let's let's switch to the semi. Semi, fuck. No, semi, it is fuck. Okay, fine. Let's switch to this. See what damage has been done. So this thing just tapped it. No, it did it, we did nothing. This this was a failure. I mean, we managed to fire 12 pigeons. That worked, and actually one of them has attached to the truck. But a uh, pigeon cannon, not an effective, not an effective weapon in a time of vehicular warfare. We actually, those two pigeons look fine. What happened to these guys? Oh wait, not not quite as fine as I had previously thought. There's a hole so people can see your feet while you're driving and it's missing a wheel. It only had three to start. Yeah, these guys got, they got a little bit messed up. So yeah, 
That was, I think, slightly too big of an experiment, but it was cool nonetheless. If you guys have enjoyed just stupid, stupid physics stuff using the objects in BMNG, leave a like and let me know. And if you got, if you want to see more of this, uh, leave some ideas of what more experiments, experiments we can do to further science next time. Or if you just want to go back to like driving around and crashing stuff, that's cool too. Anyway, this has been BeamNG. I'm better. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.